guys and welcome back to this episode of Dreamcraft. My, uh, I'm quite disappointed that this laptop it does not freaking work. But, you know, what can you do? Um, today we're just going to go up here and we're going to go see what's up top of the tower. Uh, I believe I should be okay. Uh, let's just put some torches down. I'm going to get up here and we're going to see what we got. Interesting. Okay, I thought this tower went all the way to the top. Apparently it doesn't, apparently it's an underground... Oh no, it does go all the way to the top, it's just... There's a random staircase here, and... Mommy! Mommy! Okay, but my daughter's saying Mommy. to me, Mommy, so give me two sex. Okay, she just wanted me to put some... some something back in this case. Uh, put that there. Oh, we need more sticks and coal, man. Oh, this is not good. Uh, we can get more sticks from this. This couldn't be more perfect. I mean, seriously. Grab some more coal. More, get a few more torches. Here we go. Very nice. Is it marble over there? Well, it looks like marble anyway. Uh, if you guys can't see, uh, that's what I was going to do. Um, there we go. This should help you guys see a little bit better um, in the game. Because it doesn't really matter because I can see anyway, so I'm not really worried about the light, light, light being light, bright, moody, dark, dull, anything. So, so you guys can see a little bit better. Uh, just turning it a bit on bright. Um, there we go. Alright, here we go, get some torches going. Done. Alright, we have over 64 torches now. Alright, what's in here? Oh, an anvil. Uh up a little, we got some coal here. It's always good to pick up the coal. Uh, anvil. Gonna pick up this glowstone for potions later. Anything like that, it will help. Uh, tempered blade duration is, don't know. Oh, duration seems to be okay. I uh, got some sticks right here. It's bone, spark site, and rotten flesh. So we can pick this up. Yep, we have ourselves an anvil. Does one even anvil? Don't like that place. It just looks dangerous, so we can see if we can block it off quick. There we go. Uh, I don't think it's too dangerous in here. Oh, we have another crystal. Really? Gotcha. Right. Crystal. Crystal palace. Uh, or crystal maze. Or crystal my crystal. Need to secure this tower in a minute. I'm not doing it yet. Ooh, this could be a good tower. Look at this. Look at this. The fanciness of it. How fancy. I'm thinking we stay here for a while. And uh, we have to secure it first. That's the only th thing. Uh. Really? Another one of these fucking things. Do they not just do they not just not leave you alone? If you guys can't see it, it's basically a freaking alien and it wants to eat my face. Alright, you go in there because I know you are for something really good. Alright, go in there, go in there, go in there. Alright. We have to transfer all our stuff up here, that's the only problem. And we're probably going to need more chests to secure this place better. So do I want to do that? I'm not going to do that this episode. This episode we've secured the tower. So I want to do something that I shouldn't be doing. Which I know what I want to do. Because I want to kill this asshole. Because these guys have just been doing my head since I started the game. Seriously, they've been trying to kill me 
<gasps> a warrior? A warrior. It's 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 a warrior. Now, nah, mate. Now, nah, mate. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Can't touch. Hit it then. Why am I not hitting it? Why am I not hitting it? Why am I not? There we go. Gotcha. Freaking thing. <sighs> Fuck. That's so annoying. Uh, they're really annoying. We're going to have to create a gun or something to deal with them because they're just so bad. Right. I'll tell you what we're going to do. What we're going to do quick is we're going to transfer some items up and down. Um, we're going to fortify this place a little bit. Uh, do we have a shovel in any of these chests? We're coming really handy right now. Oh, we do. I was going to say, are coming really handy right now? Bang, there it is. All right. Alright lads, I'm just going to cut, cut, cut the scene here, uh, and I'm going to come back when we have got this tower a bit more secure. Hey guys and welcome back. We have moved all our stuff upstairs, we've renovated a little bit, we've bought the enchanting table up. One thing we're going to do as well is, uh, just to give ourselves a little bit more protection. Projectile protection, I don't think that's going to do much. Protection. Okay, that, a little bit more protection from mobs. Uh, I didn't I didn't use all my levels because uh, actually that's a good point. Gonna enchant my sword. There we go. Sharpness, oh nice. Uh, how about shouldn't really even bother with these but got spare levels so why not? Um right so we've brought everything up here uh, so that's good. Right, we actually found an ender chest in this, so that... Oh, actually, let's take all this stuff out. The only thing I want in here is that. I'll take the anvil. I'm going to place that anvil, actually. Because that anvil could be useful. Uh, boom. Uh, oh, look, it's half... Oh, no, I thought it was half in the wall, then. But it's a special anvil. Um, yeah, so... Now we don't really have much else to do apart from... Doing whatever we want, really. I mean, I don't really think I can't really think what we got to do. Uh, yeah, but I have slept at night time while I was moving. As you can see, I was slain by a warrior. See, see what? Look at this. I was slain by a Xenex warrior. That was on my way back to this place. I died by a spider using magic. And then on my way back to here, because it didn't, the, the spawn point didn't set at a bed, because I don't think I slept. So I went back to spawn. On my way back, I got killed by a, a Zenic warrior, which is an alien. Out of the aliens thingy. Uh, I think it was at like the alien versus predator one, actually. I think the Zenic warrior is. But it destroyed me on the way back. So I had to come back again. And that took me about an hour to do. And then I've just been spent about 5-10 minutes moving all my stuff. Um, so yeah, that's always fun. And this place seems to be infested by aliens. So that's not good. So what we are going to do, though. What we are, are going to do... We're going to go downstairs, because we haven't completely cleared out this tower at the bottom. But that is our home. That, is, that should be our home now. Uh, we haven't completely cleared out this tower yet. We're just going to quickly clear out this tower. Ba -doom, ba -doom. What the hell? That is not what we want to happen. Uh oh, what's that? Oh, that's lava. Uh, seriously? These towers are huge compared to the uh, Blood and Bones towers. I'm kind of glad they're not as big as the... I'm kind of glad they're not... I'm kind of, kind of glad the ones in Blood and Bones aren't as big as this, because it would be so bad. <clears throat> but, but we got a music box out of this, you know? Who? Oh, that isn't a pressure plate. I thought that was a pressure plate. I'm going to die. Oh, look at that. Look at that massive block of redstone. That could come in very handy. Uh, loot the chest. Uh, yeah, so this is not... Ooh, some iron. Uh, I think I think I have iron ore, actually. Iron ore. So I'm going to leave it for a moment. Quartz. Don't really need quartz for the moment. I really want to find loads of string to make a backpack. That's what I really want. Yeah, I want to secure this tower. Just make sure there's no, nothing... No chests what I've missed. 
just because uh, I just don't want to miss stuff at the moment because uh, I'm new to Dreamcraft, so I don't know exactly what's going to happen later on. Uh, I need I need to create some stuff. I'm very disappointed that my uh, lightsaber didn't get created. Actually, that's that's one of the things I'm very disappointed in. Look at this. It's interesting. Mock spawner, no cake room. Another, another way, and nothing over here. Okay, so that's good. There's just tons of. I'm gonna leave these vines here because we can use these vines later on. Really, it's just tons of bloody hallways. Right, looks like we're gonna have to block this way off as well because the cave. Oh, actually, no, we've got some bricks, so we're just we're gonna block this way off. Uh, because I don't want to block off too much this tower. I want to try keep it as open as possible. So I've got a lot of corridors where I can move down. Alright. I'm only going to take the stuff I'm really going to want at the moment. Because it seems to... Oh, look at this. This could be good for blocking up. Uh, that's good. Uh, take a bone. That's about it. Cake. Eat the cake. Uh... Bread, coal, clay, bottle. If we could find a blaze rod, that would be pretty cool because when we could make a potion stand, we'd be pretty much. We'd have all the basic gear, basically. Uh, as well, up here, the gear isn't that decent, what you get. But if you descend down into the deeper levels of this place, the gear gets amazing. I'm not joking. The bottom floor looks like the nether. I'm not even joking about that. It looks like the nether. But it, the gear you can get there is amazing. But as well, it's a double-edged sword because the the mobs there's more mobs there. It's all lava around, so it, you can you can seriously get messed up. But uh, ooh, I haven't put a jukebox down. Maybe put some tunes on. You know, why not? I have to leave that shovel out. Apparently, cat is the best best one, best tunage for this. I've heard, or, or, or that's what I've heard anyway. Uh, put our jukebox uh, behind our bed. No, actually no. I don't want music behind my head when I'm trying to sleep. That would get on my nerves. Uh, let's see if we can get uh, some music. Oh, cat! There we go. Apparently, cat's the best one. So, yeah, baby. Well, we got we got some tunes going anyway. Right, uh, let's head back down. There is a Pacific corridor I want to clear out, and the second low tower. The, I think the actual lowest tower is. I think there are three levels. Well, that's what I believe. There are three levels. There's this level, which is the highest level. It's not too big. The second level, which is this level, which is quite big. The third level, which is more more zombie intense, I think. Uh, and then the last level, which is ridiculous. Right, it's here. Here it is. I remember coming up here. Yeah, there. We got, we just, we've only got to clear up here. And I think after we've cleared this, it should be basically the whole tower cleared. Alright. Let's get them. Whatever, dude. I've already got the monster hunting achievement. I mean, seriously, I've been killing monsters for days. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about you because you're lit up, so you won't spawn. Alright. So you're taking care of. Oh, I actually got a bow out of that. Okay. Uh, we could create a nice little skeleton spawner out of this. Is it a monster spawner or is it actually a skeleton spawner? It's a monster spawner skeleton so actually we could create a nice little skeleton spawner out of this one so I'm gonna leave this one alive because if we ever need bows or just general XP or anything so just just make sure nothing ever spawns no nothing will ever spawn out of that one now so I can create a mob spawner out of that which I may do later soon because that's that would be pretty cool to have uh, this one is oh this one's a skeleton spawner as well, but this one looks like he, this guy's got diamond leggings. I'll right, we'll leave that there. All right, get some of that. Goodness, uh, get some of these for blocking. Uh, <clears throat> take the bone, but that's about it. 
Uh, that's all we're going to need. Oh my god, how many chests do we have? Ooh, a stencil. I don't know what stencils are useful. If you guys know what stencils are useful, go ahead and hit me up. Tell me what they're useful. Uh, right, there's that. What we could really do with is one of these. Where the hell did you just come from? There's another mob spawner. I mean, seriously, man. Here's the stairs. We found the stairs. We were looking for this, so that's good. I'm glad the uh, skeleton helped me find it. Uh, yep, yeah, whenever you're ready, lads. Right, there we go. This leads into another corridor, actually, which I could... Uh, well, this leads into my first corridor. That's pretty cool. Uh, we need to just block this cave up. Alright, there we go. There we go. That cave's gone. Uh, is this closer uh, to the entry hall? I'm not 100%. Well, I'm not going to destroy it because I don't need to. So, I'm going to leave it there. <clears throat> that could be a XP grind, anything like that. Um, this is good. This is what I wanted. The next level, and then I think there's one more level down from here, and that's the level I want to get to. Uh, I'm probably not going to get to it today. Uh, we could do with creating a way to get through these places easier. Like there should be, a shoot, I should be able to just dig a way through here. I'm hoping. I already covered copper. What's that? Oh, interesting. Right, we should be able to just go straight through here. Yeah, just like this. Right, yeah, there we go. And the stairs are just there, so that's that's exactly what we want. We want to come down here, go straight through there, straight to straight to the stairs, and we can go straight down whenever we want. Right, that's just uh, that's part of the stairs. There we go. So that's where we go down. Uh, let's check uh, check some stuff out, and then we'll be, I'll be back in two seconds. Okay. Um, what I want to do as well is I want to create drop off points, so then I don't have to keep going up and down these bloody stairs. Uh, and then when the drop off points are full, I can always just go up and down. So I want to create a drop off point like this, so I can stick all the stuff that I'm not really gonna. Oh, lapis boots. That's interesting. Uh, gonna use. Uh, just stick them in here quickly. Like this. I'm gonna obviously need my food, but stick them in there like that. I need another chest so I can just create that as a perfect, Mommy. a perfect drop off point. Uh, for some reason apparently I haven't come down this hallway either. There's so many hallways, it's just so bad. Uh, my daughter is saying, "Mummy, um, I'm not spawn a skeleton. That looks like a wither skeleton." So, swell. We're just gonna let, light that up and then leave it. I mean, if it's lit up, more than likely mobs are not going to spawn, so we don't have to worry. Um. Whoa. Big cave place. Uh. I'm going to leave this place open. I'm going to secure it a little bit. Because nothing can get over there now. Uh, okay. I think that's actually almost the next floor down, so... That's pretty cool. Um, there we go. That secures that little hallway. We have to secure the other hallway as well to make sure nothing else tries coming up at us, which is uh, not good. Um, yeah, so that's the last thing I want to do for this episode, really, is to create my drop-off point. In the next episode, we're going to delve deep into the dungeons. and ooh, nice. We're going to find ourselves some stuff. Oh, here we go. This is what, exactly what I wanted. It's got a bit of stuff in it, so I don't really care about that. Uh, as well, I may make some like bridges or something to for the, for the hallways. I'm not 100%. Um, if you guys can hear my niece in the background, I am truly sorry. She's just loud and she just come back home. But what can you do? Um, yeah, that's good. Uh, so we have everything we need there. And we'll next episode, we are delving deep into the downstairs 
of the jungle. So we're going down here to this next floor. And <clears throat> what I really want to do is find the uh, next area. Look at this, all this mossy cobblestone down here. It's crazy. Alright, we've got a spawner straight away there. We've got a spawner straight away there. And we got... can't really see properly because the gem's in the way. Probably a spawner down there as well. I think I can see one right at the end. But yeah, we want to go one more floor down than this. And it will take us to the nether floor. And the nether floor, oh my god. The loots, the loots are insane. But yeah, we're going to go up. And we're going to end the episode. Uh, but no, we'll just, we'll just end the episode here. I mean, I don't, I don't really know. Tell me, tell me what you guys think, whether I should end the episode in random places, whether it really matters, or whether you guys want me to end the episode in the same place upstairs all the time. What I'm probably going to do offline is I'm probably just going to get a bit more prepared, get a few more torches, uh, just for this, so when we go down there, we're not going to run out of torches or anything like that. Uh, we can't really do much else at the moment. I don't think, anyway, you probably can, I don't know. So, we're going to end the episode here, guys. If you did enjoy this episode, Please leave that like rating, uh, <clears throat> comment, tell me what you know about Dreamcraft, tell me what I should, you reckon I should be doing, get, getting OP weapons, or reckon I should be going out and just fighting droidicas, you know, why not, if there are droidicas, I know there are battle droids, I don't know about droidicas, uh, we're back home, and, yeah, so, basically, this is gonna be our home for a bit, gonna go to sleep, yeah, we're gonna go to sleep, what the hell, why not, uh, Hopefully that's set our spawn points. We probably will die in the next episode. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like rating. Uh, I enjoy. I'm, I'm enjoying playing this. I didn't enjoy dying um, just now, but that's all part of the experience, I suppose. Um, yeah, hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this episode. <coughs> Sorry. So um, that's it really for this episode. So see you later and goodbye.